Shabbat Shalom, Shabbat Shalom, Feliz Sabado, Peaceful Sabbath to you and yours. It's your brother, DZ Level Up. I'm back at it with another video. It's around one o'clock in the morning right now. You know, we just went into Saturday, you know, it's the Shabbat, it's the Sabbath, and, uh, you know, I wanted to continue on with this, this video series called The Testament of Judah or The Testament of Yahuda um, from the book Testaments of the Twelve Patriarchs. And this subsection is called The Sins of Israel or Yasharel. Regeneration in the Messianic Era. Okay, it's not too long of a sec section, so I'm going to just dive right into it, y'all. All right, so uh, it reads, Now I have much grief, my children, because of your lewdness and witchcrafts and idolatries which ye shall practice against the kingdom following them that have familiar spirits, diviners, and demons of error. Ye shall make your daughters singing girls and the harlots, and ye shall mingle in the abominations of the Gentiles, for which things sake the Lord, Yahweh Adonai, shall bring upon you famine and pestilence, death and the sword, Belaguring by enemies and revelings of friends, the slaughter of children, the rape of wives, the plundering of possessions, the burning of the temple of Yahweh Elohim, the laying waste of the land, the enslavement of yourselves among the Gentiles, and they shall make some of you eunuchs for their wives until the Lord Adonai, Yahweh Adonai, visit you when with perfect heart ye repent and ye walk in all his commandments and he bring you up from captivity among the Gentiles. And after these things shall a star arise to you from Jacob, Yaqub, in peace. And a man shall arise from my seed like the son of righteousness, walking with the sons of men in meekness and righteousness, and no sin shall be found in him. And the heavens shall be opened unto him to pour out the spirit, even the blessing of the Holy Father. And he shall pour out the spirit of grace upon you, and ye shall be unto him sons in truth, and ye shall walk in his commandments first and last. This branch of God, the Most High, and this fountain giving life unto all, then shall the scepter of my kingdom shine forth, and from your root shall arise a stem, and from it shall grow a rod of righteousness to the Gentiles to judge and to save all that call upon the Lord, Yahuwah Adonai. And after these things shall Abraham and Isaac and Jacob arise unto life. And I, my brethren, shall be chiefs of the tribes of Israel, Yasharel. Levi first, I the second, Joseph the third, Benjamin fourth, Simeon fifth, Issachar sixth, and so all in order. And the Lord, Yahuwah Adonai, blessed Levi and the angel of the presence, me. The powers of glory, Simeon, the heaven, Reuben, the earth, Issachar, the sea, Zebulun, the mountains, Joseph, the tabernacle, Benjamin, the luminaries, Dan, Eden, Naphtali, the son, 
Gad, the moon, Asher. And ye shall be the people of the Lord and have one tongue. And there shall be there no spirit of deceit of Belial. For he shall be cast into the fire forever. And they who have died in grief shall arise in joy. And they who are poor for the Lord's, Yahuwah Adonai's sake, shall be made rich. And they who are put to death for the Lord's sake shall awake to life. And the hearts of Jacob, Yaqub, shall run in joyfulness. And the eagles of Israel, Yasharel, shall fly in gladness. And all the people shall glorify the Lord, Yahuwah Adonai, forever. Woo! Interesting subsection right there. Interesting subsection. You know, um, the beginning, Judah or Yehuda, the fourth son of Jacob, he speaks about um, a couple of things, a couple of characteristics that, you know, our nation of people, the Israelites, the ancient Israelites, committed way, way, way back when, you know, he brings up lewdness, witchcrafts, idolatries, you know, divination, uh, which brings you into communication with demons of error. All of these things, you know, that was committed in the past by our forefathers, which we're currently committing in these specific times. There is no new thing under the sun at all, right? Everything repeats. The same spirits that were doing the things in the past in the ancient world are doing the same things right now. There's no new thing under the sun. And what did he mention also? He said, ye shall make your daughters singing girls and harlots. That one really uh, struck a chord with me. Because, you know, in this ungodly kingdom, specifically in North America, you know, what do we see with, you know, the so-called black woman, the daughters of Zion, you know, she is put out on the forefront and used as a symbol of hypersexuality. You know what I'm saying? Like... It doesn't even matter if it's, you know, Cardi B, Nicki Minaj, Meg Thee Stallion, whatever have you. All of this representation, and even, that's current generation. We could go back 10, 20 years ago. Go back to the 80s when, you know, hip hop really started to, to flourish, to grow, and was co-opted and co coerced. You know, putting the women of the nation you know, and severing them from the majesty and the glory that they're supposed to be operating in. You know, a nation comes forth from a woman. So if the women are off and the women are not um, abiding by, you know, the law, then the nation is going to fail. And what else does it say? It says, and ye shall mingle in the abominations of the Gentiles. You know, the law wasn't given to any of the other nations. It was given to the house of Israel. You know, the northern kingdom and the southern kingdom. And so, you know, not going into the practices and the statutes and the commandments, not really walking in the, in, in the way of the holy men and women of old, you subjugate yourself to ungodly ways and ungodly practices, and you pay for that. You know, you pay when you don't keep commandments. You suffer. You might not suffer right then and there, but as time goes on, you're going to suffer and get hit with certain things because you went off, you know. And it also mentioned about like, you know, 
the consequences of of going off and not keeping the commandments what what have you you know <laughs> for which things sake the lord shall bring upon you famine and pestilence death and the sword beleaguering by enemies the slaughter of children the rape of wives you know all of these these atrocities this is the punishment that the forefathers have experienced and what we currently experience now and what the whole world is actually about to experience you know as these tensions between the nations that are going to duke it out in world war three are bubbling up it's bubbling up you know all of this stuff is going to go down like in the days of old there's no new thing under the sun you know um what else does 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 yehuda speak about um ah okay so that's interesting too because later on in this in this section he talks he he prophesies about you know the the root of jesse you know he prophesied about the messiah hamashiach that will come from his line from his seed you know and judah yehuda the kingship you know king david you know king solomon down the road down the road down the road and then you get the king of kings you know so it's interesting how judah yehuda gave us a patriarch for the house of judah <laughs> the judites he gives a uh, the, this this prophecy about you know the messiah coming walking with the sons of men and showing them bringing them back into the covenant bringing them back into the fold you know, because even when the Messiah manifested and walked the earth, you know, thousands of years ago, you know, the, uh, you know, we're talking about Hellenistic Jews. So a lot of the the Jews, the Yahudim, they were um, Hellenized, Romanized, essentially, you know, they uh, kind of like how it is today. It's the same thing, you know, everything repeats, you know, they were Hellenized. And so, you know, the Roman government was, you know, clashing with them. You know, they had several wars and stuff. The same thing that's happening now, you know, particularly in the land of the north. You know, every time <laughs> the house of Israel, house of Judah, Yehuda, tries to do something for themselves to, you know, have economic sovereignty, political sovereignty, you know, you have another power that comes in and wipes them out. So it's very interesting. Same thing that was happening when Hamashiach walked the earth. Same stuff is still happening. Hence why Hamashiach was sent from Abba to bring back, to wake up the lost sheep, you know? And um, yeah, it's just very, very, very interesting. Um, yeah. And towards the end of that, you know, how Yehuda, Judah is talking about, you know, and ye shall be the people of the Lord and have one tongue and there shall be no spirit of deceit in you, you know, and he has all of these promises that he, he mentions. And this is before, you know, this is, this is before Messiah. This is before Hamashiach. This is before, and he's talking about, he's giving future prophecies like, yo, yeah, you know, those who were made poor for the Lord's sake, will be made rich, you know? The same things that Hamashiach was saying in Gospels like Luke and Matthew, um, the same thing, you know? And so, you know, I just want to drop this real quick. You know, I know we're at uh, 15 minutes and it's, it's pretty late right now. Your boy has to get some sleep, but, you know, it's always good to dive into a lot of the scriptures from our forefathers, because this is real wisdom, you know, knowledge and wisdom shall be the stability of thy times. And these times that we're in is serious, y'all, serious. And anyway, I want to also say, you know, Feliz Sabado, Shabbat Shalom, Shabbat Shalom, peaceful Sabbath to the house of Israel and the house of Judah. You know, may the Most High, Abba Yahuwah Elohim, continue looking out and show you favor to you and your household because you know 
That was the time, it's crunch time. Anyway, my folks, peace out. It's your brother, Feezy Level Up. Over and out with another one. Have a good one. Peace.